Hey, what's up guys? This is Leo from LNG LOL and once again I got these awesome booster packs. I know that they're not Pokemon related but I just had to share this with you. Um, on my little shopping adventure over at Planet Fun I managed to snag these My Hero Academia collectible cards. They are the first edition. They just came out yesterday which was the 14th of October. And uh, I can't believe I really missed this because I am a huge fan of the show. I know my blank wall doesn't really prove anything here, but I am a huge fan of this show. Uh, my wife makes one of it, you know, constantly. Um, but I am excited to open these up. I uh, I hope that, you know, I, I do find something unique here. Um, apparently there was a collector's or a starting box that they were offering. However, uh, they were all sold out. And uh, only these three boosters remained, and I guess I got the last three. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, let's open this up. All right. So oh wait, they actually, they actually have these little uh, slits in there, huh? Let's. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. It looks like they're gonna actually tear the cards apart. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go for the old school rip and tear here. So I don't know if there's a trick. Um, you know, for Pokemon cards, we take that, uh, that code card from the back and, you know, put that to the side and then, you know, obviously skip four so you can get that nice rare at the end. But, you know, what? I'm just going to go for it. We got uh, All Might and his Smash. Uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I am loving the, the art here. Uh, so Smash, I don't really see a grade or actually no, right here, common. All right, cool. So we got Smash, we got Gotcha, Eat My Sticky Ball, <laughs> Eat My Sticky Balls, a, 50, a 20 meter Tongue Strike, Tape, Dark Shadow Talon, Apathetic, Glamorous, Ooh, Shoto Todoroki. This guy is freaking awesome. That's cool. And, ooh, I got an Unwavering Slash. All right. That's pretty cool. A little holographic. Uh, this is the rare. And uh, I, don't, I honestly don't know what these mean. But the, the I love the art. Um, once again, huge fan of the show. So, just to see this, this is pretty cool. I, what am I hoping for? Let's see here. I am hoping for an All Might. I know. I'm going to stand by that. I love All Might. Um, definitely a Midoriya. That would be awesome, right? Uh, I don't know if there's like a, a fancy uh, ultra rare or secret rare, but like I said, these just came out. I have no idea what they are or <laughs> they're going to be... It actually, you know what? It looks like they're just taking a lot of scenes from the actual anime itself. Uh, shock Absorption. Epic Fight from Season 1. Grasping Tape Toss. <laughs> Tight-lipped. Short Circuit. Flying Thruster Kick. Release. Amplified Sound Blast. Fulfilled my duty. Oh, Nomu. And Turn to Dust. Wow. You know, I know that they... Um, it, it basically looks like they just got scenes from the actual show and just kind of put them on cards. But, you know, uh, the, the rare holographic, though, it... Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent. I like how um I like how they added a bunch of other details. I honestly wish I knew what I was looking at here, but apparently uh um I need to get a manual or something. I don't know. Let's see here. Put that to the side. All right, one more. Let's get All Might. Come on. We got to go for All Might, right? Or at least Midoriya. So I guess, yeah, that trick doesn't work. I have to go for this slit, and I don't like that. All right. All right. Preparing for battle. 
corrosion lunge plug in brute strength ooh ouch zero gravity lift specialist of sound what's their plan <laughs> nervous habit gross sticky ball toss tackle and a naval laser charge all right. Oh, actually, you know what? Apparently, this is an extra rare. So, yay. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you know, pretty cool. Uh, I One thing I do wish, I, I feel like it's a little lackluster. They, a lot of these cards, I know I said it already, but a lot of these cards are just um, scenes from the actual show. I wish that they had put in some original art here. Like... This is obviously when they attacked the academy. You know, I could see that. Um, yeah, I really wish they put in some original art. Uh, maybe just to showcase the different types of artists out there. Um, and it looks like it's just very, I don't know, very few hero hero cards. I, I mean, I uh, let's see here. I actually got specifically a Nomu. Um, and a, and I think, wait, what else did I get? I got, and, and, uh, and of course, Todoroki. So I got, I got two actual character cards. Um, oh, it says right here. I don't know what that seven is, but he has 20 life. And let's see what, no, bro. I'm sorry, this guy's, I'm just going to put him off to the side. All right. So it looks like these two character cards, they actually have their independent life and, uh, whatever that is. Um, and then whatever special abilities they have for uh, each card here. Yeah, so character cards. I don't know. I I, I, I wish that there was more uh, characters, to be honest, that came. But then again, maybe that's what makes it so, so rare. Um, this is an attack card. Foundation card. Another attack, foundation... Looks like there's mostly foundation. Yeah, this is a lot of foundation. Um, so I don't know if this is like... Uh, if you're familiar with, uh, I guess, Magic the Gathering. Uh, where you... Well, now they have this whole... Um, what is it? Captain or Commander. That's what it is. Commander. I don't know if it's like a Commander deck where you get like one character. And you build your deck around either attacks or foundations. And, and do that. Uh, but it seems like a majority of these cards are attack or foundation. And uh, like I said, I got two actual uh, character cards. But um, I don't know. It, it seems interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This it seems, you know, promising. I don't, I don't know if it's going to catch on like Pokemon. But uh, I am pretty happy with the Todoroki uh, and Nomu pulls. They are pretty cool. Uh, I wish I got All Might uh, or Midoriya. But... You know, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, that's the whole point of buying booster cards, right? Instead of singles. Um, that's just thrill. But uh, overall, uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy more. Uh, I, I don't really see the appeal. Like I said, if there, there was original art or something unique to it, um, I would probably buy more. But just the fact that I got these. Um... Hey, guys. So after looking into it i didn't want to sound ignorant so after actually doing some searches i realized that uh this my hero academia new set that came out um they do have different you know obviously the different levels of rarity so common uncommon um and then it goes up to rare and then ultra rare which is denoted by UR, and then extra rare, which is XR. And then, of course, they have their their grand rarity, which is the extra secret rare. Um, and the top card for the current, uh, I guess, set is one for all full cowling, 5% strike, which is an extra secret rare. It's going for about $200. So I, I'm kind of amazed at uh, the, the range that they do have. However... My disappointment is kind of going up with this set. Now, I don't mean to demean or downgrade this game or this training set. I just find it lackluster. So, a perfect example is this uncommon Todoroki. So, 
Awesome character. Yes, I love this character. The fire and ice, his arc, all that is good. But going from the card set, it, I don't know if you can see it, but it go. This is an uncommon. An uncommon one is basically worthless. However, I found on TCG Player and multiple Googles that, well, Google searches, sorry, that the same exact card, the same exact card has an extra rare version. That's the only difference is instead of a UC for uncommon, it has an XR that goes for $30. And there is no differences. There's no differences in the power level, the, the amount of HP, the, the, the skills, um, possibly a sheen because the pictures that I've seen, um, the, you know, it's a picture. So maybe it's holographic, but it, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a letdown, you know, like, uh, Pokemon does such a great job. If you do find an ultra rare or a secret rare, um, you can definitely tell the different artwork or different skills or something. Just overall, you can definitely tell it's a rare card. Um, for this set, you have cards and all you have to really go by is if it's hollow or, you know, the rarity nomenclature. And that's, I, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of lazy marketing here. Um, going on, so turn to dust. I actually found out that I pulled an ultra rare. Now, the ultra rare version, which I have, surprisingly, um, it is about $13 on the open market. and But there's the extra rare version, which is $35. And same exact thing. I don't see any differences in the pictures that I've seen that denote that it is different except for possibly the nomenclature from UC to XR. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of let down. I would wish that they had uh, put in, like for example, for this turn of dust, uh, instead of the ultra rare and the extra rare uh, just being denoted by the rarity difference, maybe there was like a different art. I, I think that would have been awesome. Uh, maybe that or just improvement of stats, you know, like whatever it is. is. I, I, I don't know. I don't mean a rant. I just feel like if you're going to be spending money on, especially something that you do enjoy, like certain games or whatnot, that the player really does get a bang for their buck. You know, I, how do you get people to come back if they don't get, you know, a bang for their buck? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm being ignorant. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please share how you feel about this. Um, yeah, if you like what you saw, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks.